Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, you know what I was doing the other day? I was sitting by the open fireplace in my favorite dungarees. That's right, that's what I was doing. Come on, OJs. Eddie. Sitting by the open fireplace in my favorite dungarees. Played a few bars of a melody, and it sounded sweet to me. Ladies and gentlemen, I get up and take a look around. That's Eddie LeBert. And Eddie is singing with the rest of the OJs, and they're singing about a dog. That's right, Brandy's about a dog, ladies and gentlemen. My best friend's gone. Ran away. I'm so all alone. And I really miss you, Brandy. See, Brandy's a dog, y'all. When I heard that, I'm like, that's a nice song about a dog. Y'all got to gotta, gotta give them some credit. Like Michael Jackson and Ben, man, about a rat. You got to give them some credit, okay? Made a song about a rat, okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got a lot to talk about. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a lot to talk about. There is an issue with the courts. You go in there thinking that you're going to get justice. You go in there thinking that you're going to get due process, that they're going to follow the rule. They're going to follow the law to the letter. And you walk up going, what the flying fart. WTFF. What the flying fart. Farts don't fly, y'all. They travel a long ways. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, many people are disheartened by the so-called judicial system. You see, the judicial system is only concerned about one thing, and that is the public perception of the judicial system. Let's see if we can pull up something about that. Let, let's see if I can, if I have a screen pulled up. I may have to open another one. Let's go, we'll do Ruiz because I don't even know what this case is about. These have been open for so long that I have no idea. That's if it lets me open it. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, for those of you who are concerned because a lot of people have been telling me hey you ain't did no video i ain't seen you now i had two young women they weren't talking like that but i had two young women talk to me today and they're sap packers and they were telling me how they were worried because they hadn't heard from me hadn't seen a video ladies and gentlemen those of you who really stress when you don't hear from me because you think something may or may not have happened. Please understand, I appreciate that so very much. I want all of you to understand that I am one of Jehovah's Witnesses. And let me tell you that I take this very seriously. This is the day's text for today. The eyes of Jehovah are roving about throughout or through all the earth to show his strength in behalf of those whose hearts are complete towards him. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put my full trust and faith in him based on that right there. I'm going to let him continue to do what he's done in the past concerning me. To show his strength. To be my shield, my strength, my arm, my confidence. You see, I'm going to put my God, Jehovah, to the test. Oh, no, I, what you doing? You can't put God to the test. Hold on. For those of you, I can go to the scripture, but I'm going to put that there. What you mean you can go to the scripture? The scripture where he asked us to test him out and see if he will not pour out. Y'all just don't understand about my God, huh? That's Malachi, y'all. Malachi? Yeah, I had a person who 
he pronounced it Malachi, because if you look at it and you don't understand the pronunciation, see, Malachi, if you don't understand the pronunciation, you're not going to realize that it's Malachi. Okay, so I had a person who laughed at the guy who pronounced it Malachi, but ladies and gentlemen, it wasn't his fault. He said something that didn't know. Pay attention. A lot, of, a lot of reverends and preachers that get people to give them money, they quote this scripture all the time, but they don't quote this one. Bring the entire tithe into the storehouse so that there may be food in my house. And test me out, please. He's begging us to test him out. In this regard, what regard is he talking about? Jehovah of Armies has said, in the regards to see whether or not I will not, whether I will not open to you the floodgates of the heavens and pour out a blessing until there is nothing lacking or until there is no more want. He says that he will satisfy all of your wants. Now, everybody, my father had explained to me the difference between wanting something and needing something. Ladies and gentlemen, I have everything I need. I promise you I have everything I need. I just went and got paid. God, it, it, I didn't want to pay that much for a septic tank. But I just paid for a septic tank, and I've been putting it off. I, I've been having to use my consult money, saving it all up just to get the septic tank. Because I said, I'm not going to ask you all for nothing else. I, I'm all right. I got this. But I paid for the septic tank. Now i got to find somebody to help rent a backhoe. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, a backhoe is not a female, y'all. A backhoe is uh, farming equipment. Let's just say that, or construction equipment, okay? Well, so it's certain females. Hey, stop that. What you doing? What you doing? Hey, look, you got it. Uh, females are not like that. The ones I know are. What, what? Wait, hold on now. What you mean the females you know are like that? Man, every female I've been acquainted with has been a back. I mean, a, 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 you know what I mean? Oh, come on now. Look, look, not on this channel. You don't get to talk. But I'm serious. Every single one of them. I, well, I, I'm sorry, I got to correct that. Every single one of them that work for the government. Okay, that's what I mean, because that's the only ones I know. I don't know any other females. I know women and ladies. But females, man, all the females work for the government. I deal with them all the time. Just dealt with one clerk of the court today. Go sit up here and tell me that telling me about their rules and procedures was giving legal advice. What the fuck? Well, I, I, I wanted to slap that, I mean, that, 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 that back, I wanted to back that, that, that's what I wanted to do. All right, all right, all right, I got you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as we were saying before he interrupted, don't worry about me. I'm okay. I'm going to be okay. I know, I know, I know many of you don't get it, but I told you about my friend Kenny, who lives in... Florida. And at this point, he is the oldest person that I communicate with that I've been friends with. Okay. And he is a very special young man. This young man is so unique that I've not met anybody like him with the personality that he has. That's what drew me to him. When I saw him, I literally told him, you look like you're somebody worth knowing. Just that simple. And what I can tell you is if I, and I, I, I'm not saying that he's gullible because he's not. I'm saying that he trusts me. So if I tell Kenny that this or that is a fact, Kenny will hold on to it being a fact. He, he will not sit up there and go to you or anybody else for an explanation. He will go by what he heard from me because he knows that I'm not going to spin him wrong. That's kidding. And you know what? 
He has no idea how much I appreciate that. I wish that he and I were in contact on a more regular basis, but it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. And so you know what, he and I, we're right where we should be, and our friendship is right where it should be. Now, that young man worries about me. But what Kenny said, he says, but I know about your faith in Jehovah. And because of that, I know you are right. His words, not mine. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Kenny. Now, those of you who are worried about me, I want you to just trust the fact about this. When you go ahead and look at the name for the true God in the Bible. Oh, that's the Old Testament. Look here, you ignorant people. He's the one who says that he hasn't changed. So why would it make a difference if it was the so-called Old Testament, which means, it literally means Old Covenant? A testament is a covenant, ladies and gentlemen, a promise. Go back and look at, look up the word testament so that you can get a better understanding and quit going off of that jailhouse junk, okay? Because those are the responses you get from people in jail. Okay, he is the God of the Bible. Okay, just that simple. He is the God of the Bible. Well, there are many gods. Yeah, yeah, but he's the God of the Bible. He's the one who said that the Bible is his word. Well, Jesus is, no, 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 no. Jesus is the word of God, not God. No, 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 shut up. He's the word of God. He cannot be the word of God and be God himself. Well, you, your word, no, I am not my word. I keep my word. I am a whole lot more than my word. Okay? So the same with Jesus and his father. He even said, I am going my way to the father. Not I'm going with inside myself to get to know myself better. No, I'm going my way to the father because the father is greater than I am. John, the 14th chapter, verse 28. He said that. He said his father was greater than he. So again, I am much greater than my word. My word is just words. My words are not the essence of me. Okay, just like the word of God is not the essence of Jesus. He's not just limited to just being the word of God. He is also the son of man. He called himself that on many occasions. He is also the one to whom every knee shall bend in heaven and earth. It doesn't matter if you don't believe this, because there have been a lot of people who didn't believe in the past. You had Pharaoh, who is Jehovah, so that I should obey his voice. <laughs> he found out. He didn't ask no more. Well, he can't ask no more, because he, he, he was gulping up too much of that water from that Red Sea. So he was, save me! <laughs> Please. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't matter what you believe. Because eventually, you're going to come to understand. I can't force you to believe. I can't force you to understand. But I promise you one thing. I guarantee it. Because he guarantees it. Every one shall know who he is. Says that they shall have to know that I am Jehovah. He says that. I didn't say it. Don't take, go all throughout the book of Ezekiel. Okay, go ahead and read it. All right, let's talk about the information Oh, you just going to switch from that? I'm going to hear more. Nope, sorry. You cannot hear more about that. Not today. I got things to do. You got things to do? You got something better to do to talk about? You? Yes, you better believe I got something better to do to talk about. You don't get to do that to me. You don't get to sit up here and make me feel bad because your conscience is making you feel bad. You don't get to sit up there and twist anything and apply it to me because I'll, whatever you say, buddy just like they asked jesus they said uh are you the son of man are you the king of the jews and he simply said you yourself are saying so you yourself are yourself are saying that i am in other words whatever you say you follow me so i'm saying the same thing when people sit up here and try to 
Use my words against me? Whatever you say. If that's what you're saying, then it must be true. And let, next time a judge says, so it appears, well, if, if it appears that way, I guess it must be true. Then you not hear what I said to the judge about the money order? What's this? Well, what does it look like? Well, it says money order. Well, then that's what it is, mother. Okay? You, everybody, the videos I've been doing as of late showing you the case law and case text, it's basically telling you how to respond to the court. Look, I am doing motions, and what I'm not doing, and I promise you this, what I am not doing in these motions, that's the SACOM website. We updated some things. The Omega Pack ended today. Well, it didn't end. <laughs> it still exists. I got to be careful on how I say that. The offer ended today. So no more uh, $10 million in tax credits. And no, we won't be amending that and doing that differently. You know what? We're going to do this one. Standing on the land okay i gotta show y'all this hey y'all y'all here still haven't found what i'm looking for you too everyone oh you too man i love you too anyway there is something that i want to show you guys before we talk about everything else it is this ladies and gentlemen What I put is that the beneficiary is not recognized in the court of equity. Ladies and gentlemen, while we're searching for this, I want you to know that I am very exhausted today because I spent four hours outside in the heat because I was putting up the cameras. And I put up seven cameras outside. I'm going to have one main camera inside that will focus on the entire inside. You walk in that door, surprise, surprise, surprise. Anyway, and so the cameras are going up, and now that the cameras are going up, I will hook up the solar panels. I was delaying hooking up the solar panels because I didn't want anybody to come take them, although we do have insurance on the property at $35,000 because that's the amount of value of what's been spent so far. So we got the total value of everything and doing everything on credit card documents that. And so what I have to do is I now have to start connecting things to the property because what happens is the land isn't covered. That's a whole different thing, okay? Wait, hold on. No interest is more zealously guarded by courts of equity than that of the Sestake Trust. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Therefore, appellant contends that the trustee absorbed the interest of their Sestus in such title as they did obtain. A mere statement of contention answers it. No interest is more zealously guarded by the court of equity than that of the Sestic Trust. To permit a trustee to oust his Sestic because the title of the trust estate fails in part and thus enrich himself is unthinkable. The court has spoken in no uncertain terms on this subject. Ladies and gentlemen, those of you who are wondering about whether or not the Sesta K Trust existed and whether or not it applied, go and read Merit Oral Corporation versus Young. What has the Sesta K Trust got to do with a lawsuit with an oil company? 
Go and read it. I'm letting you know this, people. I didn't know that this case existed. When people go into court and they mention about the Sesta K, and you better highlight, let me do that for you. You better highlight that statement right there to death. Because that's all the courts are. They are courts of equity, and they are dealing with Sesta K trust. You are the beneficiary. Now remember, the whole title of this section is the beneficiary has no place in a court of equity. Beneficiary of a trust is not recognized in a court of equity. That's what that says, okay? And the first thing we pulled up is the courts of equity, okay? Ooh-wee! The resulting trust is a creature of equity and can be enforced in a court of chancery only. I promise you guys, those of you who are paying attention to this video, I promise you I got some information for you that's going to send you on a whirlwind. Because a lot of people haven't been understanding SATCOM, so I'm going to tell you what we've been doing. Okay? And then I want all of you guys to do what these young men are saying. To break your heart, let it all out, ladies and gentlemen. I guarantee you that the information I'm about to show you, I promise you, a bunch of you are going to be shouting this from this point on. We're going to let you know what SATCOM has been doing. We told you that we gave you something more valuable than the money you could ever have paid us. And then I'm gonna show you how it has been working for some people because the courts did not try to pin them on what they were doing. Hold on, we're gonna get there in a second, y'all. I promise you. There is no recognized ground upon which equity can pursue a fund or impose upon it the character of a trust except upon theory that the money is still the property of the plaintiff because it was held in trust. Okay? That's what that's all about. But see, this is only talking about a court of equity. A court of equity will not permit a person acting as a trustee to create in himself an interest opposite that of his sesta trust or principle. Ladies and gentlemen, pay attention. You are not the trustee. Hold on. The court of equity will not permit a person acting as a trustee. Prevost versus Grats. Grats. Oh, Grats. Get on over here. I want to talk to you for a minute. Come on, Grats. Okay. This is an 1821 case, ladies and gentlemen, heard by the United States Supreme Court. Go and take a look at what the court said, ladies and gentlemen. Look, I don't have time to look at this. Look, the courts are saying that you're acting as a trustee when you walk into those courts. That's why you guys are losing. Okay, look. But this doctrine is inapplicable to the case of a fair, bona fide creditor who became so prior to the assumption of his fiduciary character. Assumption. It's a presumption that you are the trustee. Okay, in such a case, he is entitled to claim the full amount of what was due from his trust. I know that that's what it's going to say. On the contrary, where legal rights attend the parties to a fiduciary relationship, a court of equity will enforce those rights and will not permit the plaintiff of Eschew legal rights and duties under guise of invoking the court's equitable jurisdiction. Equity follows the law, ladies and gentlemen. Equity follows maxim. This is, of course, only an expression of the historic maxim and controlling principle that equity follows the law. Ladies and gentlemen, I wasn't looking for this. You all know that. You saw what I put in. 
about a beneficiary not being not recognized in courts of equity. It is true, of course, that in equity, a trust may not fail for one of trustee. Nevertheless, the courts cannot supply a private express beneficiary. The courts cannot supply what? What can they not supply? A trustee for a private express beneficiary. The questions of revocability, as argued by the petitioner and decided by the Supreme Court in Becker's case, in holding that the legal title, possession and control of the trust estate passes irrevocably, we got to read that one. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a 1929 case. We definitely got to read this, this section. Okay, Moorsman versus the Commissioner of Revenue. Got to read the rest of that statement because that statement is going to lead us to something. Hold on. Got to wait for it to catch up. And then we got about two more cases to read because we got to bring all this together. You guys got to understand what's going on here. Okay. Now, as you saw, beneficiary of a trust is not recognized in the court of equity. We're going to, we're going to correct that. But you saw the cases. Those are the cases I would be going to if I was you. We got to wait for it to get to its section. This is right here. This is the section. Okay. Ooh, oh, she's out of my life. This is genuine, ladies and gentlemen. Single Michael Jackson, she's out of my life. Okay. The trust agreement, therefore, failed to affect the creation of a trust on January 28, 1929. This results from the fact that no existing beneficiaries were named therein, and consequently, there was no present severance of the legal and equitable title to the property. Ladies and gentlemen, hold on to that statement right there. Beneficiary must be named. And there must be a order in the trust to transfer the property to the beneficiary. The question here determined is whether there was a valid declaration of trust operating in Criacenti between January 28th and May 3rd, 2029. That question must necessarily be answered in the negative since there was at the time no person in being who could claim any beneficial interest in the property other than the holder of the legal title, the grantor. The grantor didn't name himself as the beneficiary. Sorry, I apologize. It is true, of course, that in equity, a trust may not fail for one of a trustee. Nevertheless, the courts cannot supply a private express beneficiary. That's your job, ladies and gentlemen. So, the trust failed. Oh, my stars. The question of revocability, as argued by the petitioner, and as decided by the Supreme Court in the Becker case, in holding that legal title, possession, and control of a trust estate passes irrevocably to the grantor as an individual to himself as trustee. The grantor becomes the trustee if there's no beneficiary. Remember, there must be a trustee. All right. Is thus foreign to the case at bar. For there is no trust, there is no occasion to discuss revocability. The question actually before the court in the Becker case, it may be observed in passing that there is room for argument that the trust created by the conveyance of the property on May 3rd, 2029 was revocable. Okay, go over these cases, ladies and gentlemen. Why? Because I told you this is the year of the trust and y'all didn't pay attention to me. Well, well what you talking about? Hey, this is uh, genuine, y'all. I kept my love for her. 
tonight. She's out of my life. Genuine, everybody. All right, we got genuine, and we're going to pause genuine, ladies and gentlemen, because now we're going to get serious. We're going to genuine. I said pause. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, now we got to talk. We're going to go back to these other cases that we were talking about earlier because it is important that you all understand that this is equity. Everything we're doing is equity. Creating trust agreements is equity. That's why we put the entire blueprint on our website. This is the year of the trust, ladies and gentlemen. You don't have to create 100 trusts. Okay, you don't have to create 100 trusts. You only need one trust. Those of you who have a stat pack, you receive the trust. We were not to do everything for you because you were required to do your own homework. Many of you received the trust and you did not create a declaration of trust. We gave you a declaration of trust section in the trust agreement. Like we told the rest of you, go online, listen, pay attention, you need to hear this. Go online, put in sample, Declaration of Trust, and then take the Declaration of Trust that we have in your SAT pack. You don't need to show nobody your trust agreement. You're not supposed to. Your trust is a private trust. The only thing you need is the Declaration of, pay attention, Declaration of Trust and a Certificate of Trust. Okay? Now, we've already done a video showing you guys that on a certificate of trust, pay attention, the grantor or the beneficiary can produce that and sign it. It does not have to be signed by the trustee. Okay, if you do the cursory search, you know how many of you guys just go and you look and then you walk away after you see something negative, then you're going to find that, blah, blah, they say I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. No, can't do it. Can't do it. No, Sorry, no I don't want to hear it. Can't do it. They said I can't do it. I was just talking to a lady today, and I'm telling her what she needs to do, and I tell her the reason why I'm having you contact the clerk of the court is because I need you to go through the experience. See, I need her to go through the experience of them telling her, no, 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 no. No, you can't do that. No, you can't do that. No, you got to do it this way. So that I can tell her, no, you don't have to do it that way. See, the bankruptcy court requires a... Notice of appeal. But in California, they have what's called a BAP, the Bankruptcy Appellate Panel, which is a joke. So I elected to go directly to the district court on her behalf, not to the appellate panel, but to the district court. So they have this form where you elect to bypass the offer of the appellate panel, because it's just an offer, it's not mandatory, and they go to the district court. Well, the document that we put in, formal appeal, was to the district court and not to no bankruptcy appellate panel. The bankruptcy court said, well, these are our rules. I don't give up about your rules. We haven't submitted to your jurisdiction. Okay, I'm taking my time with that one, ladies and gentlemen. But see, here's the thing. People accept what they're being told and they walk away going, huh, yeah, it's, it's okay, yeah. The district court currently dismissed, now I want you to read this case, Nixon's breach of fiduciary duty claim between Wilmington Trust owed her no legal duty. Under Delaware law, the state claim a breach of fiduciary duty, a plaintiff must show that fiduciary duty exists and that a fiduciary breached that duty. A non-beneficiary to a trust cannot state a claim for breach of fiduciary duty. Why? Where's that at? Where's that law? Okay. But if Nixon had documented that she was the beneficiary, then she could bring a claim of breach of fiduciary duty. You look at the video that was done a couple of days ago. It'll go up. These videos will go up at the same time. So the video just prior to this one, you see where we showed you that government is a trust, and they sent us trustees. So 
let's talk. This document we're going to put online for you. It'll be up when this video is up tomorrow. Because YouTube has respected me for seven days for putting videos up because they didn't want me talking about a particular set of news videos that was criticizing a particular product that individuals were selling as a, well, they were saying it cured things. But I was only looking at the fact that there was a lot of effort to claim that it didn't, but nobody was documenting what harm came from people doing certain things. So, yeah, let's just say they have an algorithm. So once I used that title, the algorithm tracked it down, and then they decided to be stupid. I'm going to get intelligent with them, and I'm going after them in a unique way. Just going to be a minute because they're not my main priority right now. YouTube is not my life, ladies and gentlemen. I don't need YouTube. But what you going to do without YouTube? I'm going to do what I did this week. Man, I accomplished so many things this week. Not doing any. Well, I did videos, but, you know, and, and uh, you know that bit shoot? Well, I did get a channel on bit shoot. I haven't put anything up there yet, but it's it's reserved. Eon. Okay, the Eon channel on bit shoot. E-E-O-N, by itself, okay? Although they talk about a lot of things on this shoot that I don't actually agree with, I still set the channel up on this shoot. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, notice this. Let me tell you what's been the issue with everybody going into court. The courts are presuming and assuming that you're the trustee. Just that simple. You have to rebut that presumption. So you need to start going in there with a declaration of trust. You see, that's why certain individuals have been having their documents placed on a record and the case has been dismissed. Because they've been going in there and the document says right at the beginning, declaration of trust. But see, declaration of trust and the trust are not supposed to be included together. Okay? They're supposed to be separate, but we put them together for your benefit. You see, we were creating a sap pack. We were creating a bond. We gave you trust. We created a trust for you, which is exactly what we were supposed to do. But we are doing the bond. We're creating a security, which is different. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to tell you again. You received a lot more than you bargained for. Well, why are you just waiting until now to tell us? Well, because we weren't supposed to be telling you everything. Do you guys understand that there are certain things in law that I cannot, was restricted from telling you at the time? But now that those packs have been grandfathered, and now for the new packs, we decided to go ahead and create the declaration separately to create the certificate of trust. Okay, we created those documents for people. We're even creating a document that's similar to this. Not like this, but similar to this document. This document will be up for you guys. Okay, but the document we created for that, different than this one. This is just to give you an idea of what's going on. Ladies and gentlemen, by going in there and putting your declaration of trust on the record, which documents that you are the beneficiary of that trust associated with that entity. Of course they know it's not you. You ain't gonna go and say that's not me. So excuse me, why, what are you doing discussing my trust without notifying me? Where's the trustee? Where is the trustee? What's wrong with y'all? Y'all don't know? Y'all are not the trustee. Where is the trustee? Do you know what you just did by asking where is the trustee? You just said I'm not the trustee. Just that simple. The next thing you say is, excuse me, what authority do you have to summon a beneficiary into a courtroom? Uh-oh. Mommy. 
Do you know what you just did? You just identified yourself as being the beneficiary. And you just notified the court that, wait a minute, you don't have any authority to be calling the beneficiary into the court. Okay, has there been some claim that there's been a violation of the trust res, R-E-S? Then the trustee is responsible for that because he has possession of the property. So where's the trustee? Ladies and gentlemen, who's the trustee? All government are trustees. The trustees or uh, the uh, fiduciaries are there for the benefit of the beneficiaries. So take a look. A beneficial interest statement. I am a creditor, a beneficiary of the public, public trust doctrine, and you're a beneficiary of the public. You benefit from public interest. And as such, a beneficiary of that trust, the public trust doctrine. Remember, the courts operate, all of them operate based on the so-called public trust. There is no claim of actual injury to any party that can be gleaned from the public filing of this matter. There is no verified complaint by an actual eyewitness, only a non-verified presumption, which requires no mounting of defense. There's no reason to defend anything. There's no evidence on the record. And nobody made a substantial... No, hold on. If you cause injury to another person, that argument doesn't work for you. But a speeding ticket? Okay. Can't do that. Mm -mm, here's your declaration. I'm the, I'm the beneficiary of that trust. What you talking about? Contract. I don't have no contract with you. Oh, no, that's the trustee. He did that. The trustee has, well, didn't you sign this? Nope, that is the trustee who signed that. Go ahead. Prove to me that I signed that. I dare you. I am the beneficiary. And even if I did sign that, it would have been on behalf of the trust. And it would not have been on my own personal behalf. You got any more questions? Ladies and gentlemen, I went to the post office yesterday to pick up some mail. They were uh, one of the counties held onto my birth certificate for six months. They did that on purpose because they wanted to cause me problems. Because that's the same county that put me through all the problems in the past. I'm going to get their attention. Uh-oh. Sorry. Uh, I'm charging my battery right now. Oh, I know what's going on. Dag, nabbit, y'all got to hold on one second. See, I'm charging my battery, and I got to put, I was supposed to unplug the computer from the auxiliary battery, and I didn't. And thus, the computer, the system has not been charging the battery like I needed to, so now I got to really amp it up. But because I was doing the slow charge, the battery has a little bit more power and will last longer because I was doing a slow charge and not a rapid charge. So it works. All right, let's get back to this, ladies and gentlemen. I go to the post office to pick up my mail, and the postal worker keeps causing me problems. So I go in there, I'm going to keep my composure, I'm not going to yell, I'm not going to argue. And she yells at me. You can't put this address like this on here. Excuse me? You cannot, this is not your address. It's not a valid address. Excuse me, miss. That is my address. No, it is not. Look, I'm not here to argue. Well, I'm not arguing with you. You just can't do this. It's got to be just that. And I told her, I said, whatever. I said, I'm just here to pick up my memo and to leave. Well, go ahead, go ahead and sign it and take your DAMML. Now, you know, I don't use the word DAMN. 
Okay, I don't have to use the word. There is no sentence that I need to use that. The Hoover, no, don't even have to say that. Okay? Just that simple. Because I ain't never got to talk about the Hoover. You know, ain't got to talk about it. What about a beaver? I ain't got to talk about that night. Okay? I ain't got to talk about it, ladies and gentlemen. Because I ain't got to talk about it, I ain't got to use that word. Well, I didn't curse. I said, yes, you did. You just told me to take my DAMML and you threw it over to the other side of the counter. She tossed it at me, ladies and gentlemen. Didn't hand it to me. Tossed it at me. Here, take your... Okay? Well, that constituted delivery. Shh, don't tell nobody. Because as I'm signing, I noticed that she has not inputted the correct address that was on the envelope. She has not only scratched the address off the envelope, but she's taken it out of the system. Even though the card has the address on it, she scratched it out and omitted it on the system. And it's asking me, do I agree? And I'm like, I hit the button, cancel. No, I don't agree to that. What you mean? Uh-uh. You put cancel. You can't put cancel. If you put cancel, you got to give me back the envelope. Give me back the envelope? Yeah, because you put cancel. Because you took out the address. Well, no, give me back the envelope. Miss, I ain't giving you back nothing. Uh-uh. You got to give me back that envelope. I said, again, miss, I'm not giving you back nothing. I said, as a matter of fact, I'm leaving. I don't have time for this. And I told the lady that was in line, I'm sorry that you had to witness the stupidity. And I proceed to say, excuse me, and I walked on out. And she chased me down. That postmaster come running out the door and, you're a witness, you're a witness, you saw, you saw, to the woman. And, shh, don't tell nobody. See, I know that the post office has cameras. I've known that for quite some time because of the bombings and the people dropping off stuff and things exploding and anthrax and all that. Post offices have cameras, ladies and gentlemen. Every time you walk into that post office, even when you go to your post office box, there's a camera on you. You may not see it, but it's there. Ladies and gentlemen, as I'm walking, she's trying to snatch it from me, making contact with me, trying to snatch it out of my left hand from my right side. Now, as we're walking, she's not looking. She's busy looking off at my left with her back turned and trying to cut me off by standing in front of me. And I'm still walking and I'm not going to stop. And because of my size, she is afraid of walking in front of me because she doesn't want a confrontation and I'm not going to give it to her. But that's, I can sense that in her because she sees that she's escalating it to the point to where it may get out of control. I've taken crisis intervention. That's why I kept my voice low. That's why I spoke in monotone. Didn't raise my voice not one time. And I said, no, would you leave me alone? And I kept walking. Well, as we were walking, she was trying to cut me off. There was a pole coming. She didn't see the pole. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to tell you. It ain't my job to warn people that they're about to run right smack into a <laughs> I'm sorry. I apologize. I apologize for that. I wasn't supposed to laugh. But sure enough, that pole came and sh she left me alone. Okay? I, hey, I'm just telling you. Okay, and I know she was mad. You know the first thing, and I'm sorry, those of you who are white ladies. Now, you white women and white ladies, that was a white female. You know what I meant. You saw the movie with the the Wayne the Wayne brothers, right? Okay, that was a white female. Okay, she is a garden tool. And what she was doing was making herself look like a garden tool. So I have no respect for her. But like I said, I did not disrespect her. She nobody got hurt in the making of that film. Okay. But she's sitting up there acting a fool. Then she threatened me. Well, you're not going to get any more mail here at all. You're not receiving no more mail here. Her words. Her words. Her threat. And I took it as a threat. What authority does she have? 
So the first thing I said that she's going to go and she's going to report that I stole the mail. She doesn't have a foot to stand on with that because, as I said, she tossed it over the counter to me. The camera picked that up. So when she tossed it over the counter to me and I picked it up, that constituted delivery of the U.S. mails. So I ain't got no time for her stupidity. Well, then you shouldn't have gave it to me. If you needed that to be signed and you couldn't give it to me without signing that, then you shouldn't have gave it to me. Because you gave it to me, you, you ain't a south. Okay? Just that simple. I ain't got time for stupidity. And I filed a grievance with their legal department. The post office has a legal department. And I have their number. And I'm letting them know that I am coming their way. On January 23rd, 2011, many of you who have been around know that I filed a lawsuit against the post office in small claims court. I was literally just trying to prove that the post office is not government. Remember, the post office receives no public funding. All of the monies the post office makes, it does because of its revenues through engaging in commerce. The post office is not government. It never was. I think it was, I think 1862 or 1864, where Congress established a contract with the United States Postal Service for delivery to U.S. mails. And that's how the post office came to be, is through a contract with a private corporation. So that being the case, like I said, they're going to hate me. Uh, I'll be suing them this time. The last time when I did it, they sent some people to my house and decided that they were going to fire a couple of shots over my roof. Yeah, I, I did a video telling you guys about that, those who were back then. And that happened the very next morning on the 23rd of December, 2011. Go back and look. 23rd was a Friday. Okay. The 24th of December was that Christmas so-called one of the E. And the police, I, because it was December and my windows were frosted over, I didn't warm up the car. I just got in the car and went after them. That's right. I had no gun. I went after these individuals in my car who had guns. And we're searching for them because I couldn't catch up to them because it was a dirt road. And the problem is my uh, windshield was too far over, so I couldn't see. And... Eventually, I was able to go back and talk to my neighbors, and I was able to go back around to the other street, and the police had stopped them, the state police. And I sat there for 15 minutes while the state police talked to the four men in that truck because it was a king cab, a white king cab. I remember it to this day. Can't tell you if it was a Chevy or a Ford. I'm thinking, see, I can't tell you. But I do know it was a king cab, and I do know that the state police was there. And the state police let them drive away, and he drove right behind them, and they went their own separate ways. That's New Mexico! Okay. So this time, it won't be that type of party. This time, it won't be that type of party. Let's get back to this document, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get back to helping you guys understand what we did for you. I, keep, I kept trying to tell people... You received a whole lot more than what you thought. Because we had people getting upset. Say, where's my stuff? What is this? What is that? Done. And I, I kept trying to tell them, people, you got every bit of value and then some from the sap packs. But they weren't wanting to hear that. You see, they wanted something they could touch, feel, and smell. As opposed to something that was, you know what, if you do this right, you ain't got to worry about this for the rest. Okay? If you do this right, you ain't got to worry about this no more. So, ladies and gentlemen, create your declarations. Put your declarations on the record. Have the declaration the same as the declaration from your SAP pack. Pull the declaration from your SAP pack. It says that you are not that entity that you disavow any and all contracts made during infancy. Put that on the record. And then 
attach it to this document where you're documenting this. It is pretty well settled under the American system of government that a public office is a public trust and that public property and public money in the hands of or in the control of such an officer or officers constitutes a trust fund. Anybody want to talk about the treasury? Those funds are held in trust for which the official as trustee, United States treasurer, should be held responsible to the same degree as a trustee of a private trust fund. Oops. The administration of government ought to be directed for the good of those who confer and not those who receive the trust. The officers of government are trustees and both the trust and the trustees are created for the benefit of the people. Let's continue, shall we? It is inexorable rule of common law. And it finds expression in our statute that public servants shall be not interested directly or indirectly in any contract made with public agencies of which they are members. The court, anybody ever heard the court? The court's a trustee. So why are they taking your money and putting it in what's known as the court registry? Public service demands an exclusive fidelity, means they cannot act for their own interests. The law tolerates no mingling of self-interest. Well, if you notice, the court registry, they get, they, get, they get to keep the interest. So, a public office is a public trust, public property. I got to remove that. That's twice. Can't have that twice. I'm not trying to put that twice. Okay? Not trying. Well, actually, I did try to put it twice. Uh -huh. Notice this when we put it at the bottom. Such as the Chris Fund. Yet, no public accountability. No public oversight. Apparently, an act of fraud and unjust enrichment. The defendant strongly relies on their predecessor's office, who, they say, acted on the advice of the Attorney General, established a usage and custom of making investments of the school fund in private securities. And over the long term of years, they contend that the interpretation and construction of the Constitution and statutes adopted by their predecessors in office and followed by such investment furnishes an excuse for their conduct in making loans here under attack. The opinion of Judge Branham, uh, Bannon, excuse me, in the case of State versus Charlton, which we quote below, furnishes the answer to this contention. Infinite authority exists in for the law proposition that the powers and duties of all government officers are limited and defined by law, not statute, law. Where one exists in this case, it is the sole criterion of authority and no custom can enlarge or validate uh, that it. Ladies and gentlemen, Pay attention what they're saying here. They're saying that government office, their powers are limited. They are limited authority. So where are they getting all this junk that they're doing? Pay attention. The Floyd acceptances, seven wall, six, 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 six. This usage theory, usage theory, usage theory was assigned to the case of cited to bind the government to commercial paper, to bind the government to commercial paper, as it has been the custom for the secretary to make such acceptances. But the court repudiates the doctrine upon the fixed principle that such customs could not prevail against the law. Why? Because they cannot intermeddle. The court said, that such unauthorized acts by an officer, however frequent, could not stand as a foundation for the authority assumed. 
such a practice, I will not call it custom or usage, such a personal practice of individual secretaries cannot be upheld by this court because contrary to the plain import of the statute and the calculated to encourage law, loose official practice entitling loss on the state, there is no need or justification for it. Ladies and gentlemen, they're basically saying that when they take these revenues from the school, monies belonging to schools, monies belonging to government, and they invest them, they cannot do that. They cannot do that practice. Why? Because it's gambling with the public's money. But have I not been saying that for years? Just found this case today. So we put this together, and this is for you guys. See, this is what I told the lady yesterday. I'm not here to argue. Now, when you're going to go to court, you're going to be, I'm not here to argue. I'm not here to defend myself. I'm here to establish the fact that I am the beneficiary of that trust. I am one of the persons mentioned in the Fifth Amendment that shall not be deprived of any significant property interests, property rights, referring to inalienable or other rights without due process of common law, alluded to in the Declaration of Independence, for which it was held a self-evident truth that I am endowed by my God and possess inalienable rights, rights that this body has no authority to abrogate. Since, oh, excuse me, got to put our comma. So, once again, under what authority does this body claim it has authority to exercise jurisdiction over a beneficiary? Since when is a beneficiary the res of the trust? Ladies and gentlemen, you are not the res of the trust. You're not the trust res. Since when is a beneficiary the res of the trust? That's what they are doing in court. They're handling the trust res. And go and do your research on it. Understand what's going on. And why are you assuming authority over my time, my business, my interest, my property, my rights, when it is well established that your authority prohibits you from subjugating a beneficiary? I know, I know, I know, I know. Many of you are going, oh man, we almost had it. We were saying this, but we didn't know that part and we weren't putting the declaration of trust on the record. And because we weren't putting the declaration of trust on the record, ladies and gentlemen, that's what you were missing. Establish yourself as the beneficiary. Ask them what the, are they doing calling a beneficiary into the court. This document will be up on the website, okay? I still got a lot of work to do, ladies and gentlemen. I promise you, the four hours I was working on, it took me two and a half hours to put up the cameras. But it took four hours total to complete it. So the four hours I was out there, let's just say that was a lot of work. So what I want to do, because you guys have seen me do it before, what I want to do is I want to put the, um, the document online. And I'll see if I can create a pro. Hey, you know what? You lied up my life. <laughs> he likes up his life. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh, God. Oh, God, you cracked me up. I really crack you up? Yeah, you crack me up. Oh, I get a high every time I listen to you. Ooh, I just can't explain it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is known as a quick start. And so when you use, no, I don't want the new version. Why do you keep asking? I'll get the new version when I feel like it, but I don't want no new version now. This is a shareware. All right. We're going to put the document on the website. We got to go here first. Then we got to go to the PDF folder. So one second, right here, PDF, this is. Now, you will notice that the PDF section of the website, there's a little change because I'm trying to make some changes to it. What we're going to do, because this deals with your standing in court, we are going to put this in. Hold on. There is a folder I want to put it in. I just got to figure out which one. 
I don't want to put it in trust documents because there's a lot of stuff in trust documents. Let's put it in, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to put it in Thomas Buck Nelson because he was the guy that was explaining this. He's the guy that said that they created franchises. That's what the 14th Amendment did. They created a government franchise. But that was the trust, ladies and gentlemen, that they created. But these are trustees. They don't have the authority to create a trust and entrap you in a trust. You're the beneficiary of the original public trust. So because you're a beneficiary and part of that public trust or part of that we the people trust, they don't have the authority. That's how you get them. So you know what? No, we're not going to put it there. Sorry. I, 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 PDF. Let's see. I'm trying to put it in something where there's not a lot of stuff. Ah, legal understanding. Okay, we're going to put it in a legal understanding. Everybody hear that? The document that we're putting online today, right now, as it is. Let me get this right here. And that's me yawning. I've been up since 4.30 this morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is 7 o'clock. And I've been in front of this computer until 12 o'clock, about 12.15. Then I went outside and stayed out there until 5. So that was oh, almost five and a half hours outside uh, in the sun. And I was correcting some other things, fixing some other things out there. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a long day, and I'm not feeling well because i got a slight headache coming on, and that's what happens when I'm in the sun for so long. Oh, you're afraid of the sun? Look, ladies and gentlemen. Sunshiny day, eh? Everybody's smiling. Sunshiny day, eh? Everybody's singing. So happy and gay. It's a sunshiny day. Okay, the Brady Bunch. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I was not afraid of the sun. It's just because of having suffered that extreme heat, that's what it is. Now, look, one last thing. I, I have to correct something because it's 100% positively duly necessary. A lot of people are talking about my level of intelligence, and I thank you and I appreciate it, but it is not mine. As I tell all of you, I should be lying on a gurney for the rest of my life, brain dead. But I am not brain dead. Oh, is that what you think? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, boy, you ain't got no brain cells out there. What's up? You so. No, I don't want to go outside. No, no, please don't sit me. It was cold last night. You put me outside last night. I don't want to go back. No, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I was just being sarcastic. You know, I, use, I won't do it no more. Okay, I'll be quiet. As I was saying, I should be the one going to everybody else for information. But as I told you, from 1993 until about the year 2003, I kept asking my God every day, three times a day, you know, the scripture says, keep knocking, keep seeking, keep asking. It'll be given to you. It'll be revealed to you, and so on and so forth. Well, I said I was putting it to the test. Ladies and gentlemen, the same as I said that I put scriptures like this to the test. Hold on. Oh, no, that's not the scripture. Hold on. We went there because we were talking about, ah, test me out and see. That's why there's a lot of people that you shouldn't be testing God. He asked you to test him in that respect. Pay attention. It specifically says in that respect. But it says the eyes of the are rolling about throughout all the earth. This is start of this video. And it's to show us strength in behalf of those whose hearts are complete towards him. Now, I know, I know. There are a lot of people who don't believe in Jehovah. So then you can't put no faith in this because it is his eyes that are rolling throughout all the earth. To show his strength. Not, 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 not God's strength. No, Jehovah's strength. See, any, anything can be a god. A piece of paper can be a god. All it needs to do is be worshipped. Idols are gods, people. That's, why do you think the idiots have a show called The American Idol? They're showing you how people worship people. What? You don't see all the spiritistic shows out there where people are telling people to bow to them? 
Isn't that what men want? They want to be treated like gods. They want to be sovereigns. I know. Well, anyway, I did that. And it is because of him that I have the knowledge I have. That's why I mention him whenever I can. I'm not trying to talk religion to you all. Please, most of you are not listening to that at all anyway. So it's not directed at you. There are people out there who, they need a boost. I, a lot of people tell me, you know, your videos, I sit up and I listen to them. Oh, and I tell you, I be having a bad day and I listen to your video and next thing you know, my day is going okay. I mean, you like brighten up my day. I don't know how I brighten up your day, but if I brighten up your day, hey, thank you. Appreciate it for letting me be that brighten, you know, thing that is in your day. Ladies and gentlemen, I say to all of you, the information that you just received tonight, go back and listen to the video and pay attention to why certain people have been able to put their sat packs on the record or why people have been able to put their sat packs in bank accounts and achieve certain things. I told you the document has seven things in it. And now the Q packs and the Omega pack and the uh, Prime and Plus packs, they have nine different aspects to them. Okay? And the thing about it, the judge cannot sit up there and kill your trust. They cannot say this trust is invalid. <laughs> because you have the right. You're one of the people. You are a member of the public. You have a collateral interest. You have a collateral interest. You have a collateral interest. And ladies and gentlemen, only if you had rights to the collateral could you pledge the collateral. Well, that's what your contracts do. I know, I know, I know. I've been showing it to you all this time, and now you're able to put pieces together. So go back and rethink. Just take your time and focus. Create your declaration of trust first. Then create the trust certificate. Ladies and gentlemen, the templates are online. They're free. I think we might have some. I, yeah, I think I did put some on our website under the trust document section. All you got to do, look, it's right here. When you go to the PDF, you just type in trust document. Watch. Hold on now. Where you at, trust document? Trust document, where you at? Trust document. Trust document, right here. See, trust document. Okay, now, there's a lot of documents in here, so you're going to have to look for it. Okay, update, amendment, uh, attorney, no. I may not be able to find it because we don't have a lot of time. Hold on. Because we put all the trust that We're looking for a declaration, so we're going to have to go to the next one. Okay, duty to respond. Where's my declaration? Let's see, declaration and certificate of trust. So let's see if it's there under certificate. C-E-R, certificate is a trust. Certificate is a trust. Oh, no, not that one, but I would read that. I don't know what it talks about. Oh, common law trust declaration. See, there's a declaration form. Now, that's a lot of stuff in there. That's not the official declaration of trust. But there's a declaration, there's another declaration of trust from a state. I think it's like Wyoming or something. Okay? So there's a declaration of trust here. You guys are just going to have to look for it. Because I got a headache, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm sorry, even if it has been in front of me and I went past it, I apologize. Because, like I said, I'm all right. It's just I exerted myself too much today. And by doing that, that causes some problems. So... I'm going to be down for the count for the next couple of hours. When I say the next couple of hours, trust declaration stops. Okay? Trust declaration. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, there's so much that I can tell you guys about the hour style money orders and why they work. I, the reason why they work is simply because the individual is doing it had faith that they had the right to do it. They weren't just doing it just to get rid of debt. And that's what people, that's where they all messed up. They didn't understand what gave them the right to use their credit. I just did a video 
that was up, it'll be up the same day as this video, showing you what the banks are doing, showing you that the banks are only issuing credits. Go back and listen to the videos when I keep saying they're not lending money, they're lending credits. And look at the video that I did prior to this where I'm showing you that that's all they're doing is credits. Let me make sure I give you the title of that video. Hold on. Because that's all the banks are doing is issuing credits. I'm not going to talk about that here because I'm getting off of this video because I got to go and I have a ladder that's still outside and I got a trunk of a car that's halfway open and I got to go close there. So what we're going to do is that's the video we're working on now. We're going to do it by dates. It's going to take a minute. There is 12 gigabytes worth of information on this, or 12 gigabytes, 12 terabytes worth of information on this. So, no, it didn't give me my dates. Come on now, because I know 713 wasn't the last video. So, be one second, y'all. Let's uh, pause it for just a second. Oh, I can't even pause it. It says that you just want to take this trip with us. It'll be a second, y'all. Oh, you know what? We got to end this with uh, music, y'all. So I apologize. But my, my phone, even though the music was supposed to be still playing, the music stopped. So the music stopped. My phone was letting me know about checking to see if I had some possible COVID exposure. Ladies and gentlemen, the amount of times I done had COVID already, I can't tell you guys the name of the video. Why? Because the computer won't let me pull the most recent video. It's not letting me do anything. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, because it won't let me do it. Uh-oh. I need to make sure of a couple of things. The way uh, this is Hootie and his blowfish. The name of the video, y'all, is Bombshell Information. And then file this before going to court. This video, this video, and today's video go hand in hand. Okay? Promise you there's tons of information. The bitch shoot, that's not for y'all. That's just me showing how I signed up, just in case anybody want to say I'm bound to some agreement. All right, ladies and gentlemen, got to go. Y'all take care. Hey, Hootie. All right, got to go. Take care, y'all. Adios. Arrivederci. Sayonara. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Bye-bye.